Hi there, it's Kirsten and uh, it's monthly favourites time and I can't believe it's August already. I hope you're enjoying summer. To be quite honest, I'm melting away up here. I'm probably all shiny, uh, but uh, <laughs> what can I do? I have to deal with it and uh, I think it's cooling down in the course of this week and we'll see. Let's get cracking. My first monthly favourite is an oldie but goodie. It's my favourite British magazine, Town and Country. There are four editions throughout the year, spring, summer, autumn, winter. This is the current summer edition and uh, in the UK we celebrated Emily Bronte's bicentenary last week and um, it pays tribute to Emily Bronte. Emily Bronte's Wuthering Heights, to this day definitely one of my favourite novels, classic novels, just in case you haven't read it, it's a must read if you ask me. And there are also such great film adaptations out there, I will try to find them and we'll link, we'll link them down below in the info box, so make sure you check that out as well so you don't miss anything. We haven't been to the Pronti Parsonage in Hayward worth so far but it's on our list for autumn hopefully been dying to go there for so long and Hayworth is supposed to be the village it's supposed to be so nice with a Betty's tea room so I'm quite excited to plan this and um, this magazine is I mean the fashion in there is outrageously expensive but it's for me I always think it's fun to dream and also to find more affordable equivalents. It always inspires me to get cracking and find something that I can actually afford. And um, I love the tips on them. Um, sometimes there are country houses that I haven't heard of before. For example, Haddon Hall. We visited Haddon Hall in Derbyshire last year. I will link the video up here. And it's an amazing place and I find that so inspirational about this mag, finding places, there are events of the season and new products, inspiring people, stories of inspiring people, so I really, really love this mag. And talking of mags, let's go, let's move on to books. Um, I found this book just recently at Waterstones. It's called Tiny Islands, 60 Remarkable Little Worlds Around Britain by Dixie Wills, which I find quite fascinating. Um, there, so he's introducing tiny islands and a tiny island no larger than 300 acres qualifies as tiny. And uh, I came to realise that we only visited like a handful of those islands so far. Um, Skoma Island that we visited last month actually doesn't qualify as tiny. But it's so amazing. Here's the video. If you ever go to Pembrokeshire, go to Skoma Island. The experience is second to none. It's, you won't forget this trip. And what I love about this, like Instagram, I've never been to Positano, I admit. I love to go there, but on the other hand, on Instagram, everybody is going there. There are so many people going to the same places that I actually love when I find places not everybody is visiting. So this is great for making a list and try to tick off the places and what I really love about Britain in general is it's so diverse. There are so many places to visit that I don't think we ever run out of ideas. And there is, we're planning another trip at the end of this month. I'm so excited. I can't wait to share it. There's actually no internet. Shocking. But on the other hand, I think it's great great to unwind. I will film there, that's for sure. I just won't have Wi-Fi there. But you know what? It's great. Why would you be 
on your mobile phone 24-7. Okay, this video won't be that long because I only have five products and I'm not buying stuff all of the time, so I think it's fine, isn't it? My next favourite is a film, Goodbye Christopher Robin. It was actually released last year. I I saw it, um, I saw the trailer in the cinema and actually wrote it down. Somehow we missed it because, I don't know, there's, you know how it goes, that you have things on your plate and then you just miss it. So we rented the film on Amazon Prime, loved it. It's about the creator of Winnie the Pooh, the Winnie the Pooh character, Alan Milne, and his son, Christopher Robin. It's, the film is really nice, but not only fun, it has also very gloomy sides. Um, it shows how the family moves into the British countryside, into a very beautiful house, and that Alan Milne gets so inspired by his son Christopher Robin and his toys and comes to create the character Winnie the Pooh. But it also shows that um, Alan Milne return, returned from the First World War and suffered from post-traumatic disorder. So you see flashbacks and that is shocking in a way, of course. And then it also shows like when the family, when Winnie the Pooh gets successful, it shows how the childhood of Christopher Robin is taken away. That fame always comes at a price. And um, that is shocking, especially when you are a child. But there is another film coming out, a Christopher Robin film, just this month. And I'm excited for that as well. I don't know if some of you remember my question on Instagram a couple of weeks ago, I asked if you have tips on organic makeup and skincare. And I was so amazed by the response. It was incredible. I wrote down a lot of brands that I wasn't familiar with. And um, I don't know if it's an age thing, but I I try to think more and more about the products that I put on my face. I'm using everything I have now, of course, <coughs> I have left, but try to incorporate products that are organic and chemical free. I think it's so important and not uh, more expensive in a way, on the contrary. So um, I also realized it was my impression that so many of you use um, chemical free skin care but not too many use organic makeup so I did some research and I found this is a French brand and I'm only in the beginning uh, I will find and try out more products I found this brand Sao and I bought uh, these two eyeshadows which are amazing um, I'm wearing this one right now and I absolutely love them and what I really love about it, about this brand in particular, is that the packaging is like what is, it's sustainable and refillable. So it's perfect, it's cruelty free, it's vegan, gluten free. I love, I love these products and I don't know if any of you have, um, tried green people yet if you have let me know in the comments below let me know your experience let me know your tips and um, everything I, appre I appreciate everything and uh, I can't wait to try more of these products I think it's so important nowadays I have to say like Jörg and I go we do Nordic walking a couple of times a week and sometimes it shocks me. All the plastic people just throw their stuff away and I'm anything but perfect but I I try, like we try to improve at least a little bit. We only have this planet. Um, then there is the last product which 
I admit I'm not entirely sure if it's completely chemical free or if it's completely organic. Um, it's the DHC deep cleansing oil and it's amazing. I've never come across a better facial cleanser and I know it doesn't have added fragrance, no colorants and it doesn't have parabens so this is great and it's um, it's olive oil based so you use two to three palms rub it into your face for 30 to 40 seconds and then wash it off with some water it, it becomes quite milky and you feel it basically dissolves all of your dirt and makeup also waterproof mascara and eyeliner and you feel your skin feels very moisturized as well it's so so great as you can see it's still very full but having used it like five times i already love it and i know i will buy another bottle this is the best i've used so far and that's it already i don't can't i don't buy things all of the time so it's five things and i hope you love them i hope you get inspired by them a little bit and let me know if you have any tips if you want to see anything if you have wishes i love hearing from you and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already i post videos every thursday about my life here in britain and i hope you like it i'll see you next week bye bye